Hey YouTube, my Darks99 here. What's up? Um, here's my attack video. I'm going for now, going back to Chris J Agents for now. So here's my here's my Chris J deck. You got two Archloy Chris J's. Um, these are one of the main things you need for a fairy deck like this. Um, if you have exactly four fairy monsters in the grave, this can instantly be special summoned. It bas basically as long as this is on the if this was something like this, you got a fairy back to you know, like Herald of Orange Light, Honest, Hyperon, Agent Earth, etc. It's really amazing. Um and neither can player can special summon and if this is destroyed from something from the field of grave, it returns to the top of the deck. So it's really hard to get rid of. I might take one out, put one aside, I'm not sure if I'm run two. Um Two Master Hyperon, um, you remove an Agent Monster from your hand, field, or grave to special summon this, I think. But, and then once per turn, you can remove one Agent Monster from your grave to destroy a card on the field, and if the Sentry in the Sky field spells in play, you can use the effect twice. It's really good. Three of the Agent of, uh, Miracles Jupiter. Um, this, what, well, it's effect, the yeah, first effect is... Um, move and play one agent monster to uh, give another fairy 800 attack or sentry in the sky specs better. Discard, move and, discard one fairy type monster from your hand to revive one of your remove and play fairies. It's pretty good. 1800 attack, really good. Um, free agent of earth. I might cut down these two agent monsters to two apiece to put more, something else in there. But for now, I'm going to run it like this. Feel free to give me any suggestions. Um, this is the tuner of the deck. When this is normal summoned, normal summon, you can add one. The agent monster we had except the earth. And if the sentry and sky field spells in play, you can add Master Hyper on the deck to hand instead. Um, two, the Herald of Orange Light. Basically, the effect veiler in the fairy deck. You discard this and then our fairy to negate a monster effect and destroy it. It works good against, I think, Dark Soul, Sangin. And a few other things, I think. Someone can correct me on that. Two, Zealous the Herald. Having this gets your field spell. And if the entry sky is on the field, you can summon this. And it it's like a 21 beat stick. Special Alchemist removes a card from the top of your deck. Give it 500. And if this is destroyed, you can ret return one of your remove and play monsters back to your hand. It's really good. A one honest staple in a fairy deck. Um, you discard this during damn damage. Calculation, you can uh, pretty much um, really screw your opponent, pretty much. Now, the spell cards. Two duality, staple in any deck. Some people run free, but I'm running two for right now. Um, select three cards. Look at the top three cards in the deck. Select one of them. Add that to your hand. The other two go to the bottom deck. You can't special summon the turn to use this card, and you can only activate one of these once per turn. Two cards of the sky. The, de the allure for fairy decks, but you can't declare a battle or special summon this turn. So it's pretty good. Two, the Sentry of the Sky. Um, field spell, if you control a light fairy type monster on the field, a light monster, you take zero damage. Battle damage. I don't run the Mystic Shine Balls yet, but I'm just running it in this way for right now to see how good it gets. Because I'm going to be turning this to a perfect Herald deck once I get the Herald of Affections on the internet, maybe in a couple of weeks. My control staple, I'll explain more about that later. Sta and other staples, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Two Smashing Ground, and Monster Reborn. Now for the traps. Two Divine Punishment might put a third in, I don't know yet, but this is like the Infernity Barrier of Fairy Decks. If you your Skies on field, you can negate a card effect like Monster Effect, Smell Track Card, and destroy it. Solemn Morning, once the tins come out in about three or four or five weeks, I'm going to be getting a second one for a deck. Pay 2,000, negate an activation of a card. The good old school solemn judgment. Pay half your life points, negate a card, and destroy it. Staple. Double stun. Really screws your opponent up. Double D prison. Another card that can mess it up. It removes a goblin zombie, a dark soul, sangin, steel swarm, levere, anything. It really hurts your opponent's strategy. Melon catastrophe. Uh, heavy, a heart, um, heavy storm for... Uh, in case your opponent declares an attack. Mirror Force, staple in any deck. And Starlight Road negates a destruction event, destroys two more cards for some Stardust. Now the side deck is mandatory, I'll just show it to you anyway. 
It needs work, but from this is what I run for now. One soul purity and light. Uh, two banisher radiance. This I will use this against like plants and zombie light sworn, you name it. But it needs a lot more work though, but this is a start. Uh Connect Soldier, let me see if I know one, hold on. No, I don't actually. What connect soldier? I'm gonna put a second one in here. Um this is good against samurais. Uh two king tigers. Good against plants, and tech genius, and a few other things. One marshmallow, defense stall. Uh, Pot of Avarice and Leech in the Light. Pot of Avarice is a good card. Re recycles your re monsters. Leech in the Light, this is good in certain ways. Like if you go against a mirror match or a light sworn deck, if you have a light monster, your opponent can get really messed up, fucked up within seconds. One more card. This guy might replace this with something else. Two mystical space typhoons, just there. Roll the Kree. I was gonna run this, but for now I'm not running it. I'm only gonna run it if I'm going to get a meta, really major, powerful deck. Torrental tribute and two bombless. Bombless because I go against like heavy special summon decks like zombie, light swarm, GBs, black wings. And torrental tribute just to destroy a swarm, black wings, or light swarms coming out. Um, these are my dandy tokens. I don't have the real ones, which are fucking expensive. Here's the synchro lineup. Level fives. Android and Hyperlight Brain. Hyperlight Brain, every time you synchro, you draw a card. It's the same attack as Android. Android, you gain 600 during each of your end phases for each psychic, including itself. Brionac, staple, and any deck you run synchros in. Discard a, discard a number of cards, return that same number of cards on the field to their owner's hands. Really good. Iron Chain, deck milling purpose, but you gotta be careful if you go against light swarms using this, because you might accidentally mill a wolf. That's not good, because they contribute that for a Celestia if they have it. Your Aquisis, damage piercing, and if this afflicts any damage at all, battle, direct attack, whatever, this gains 300 attack. It's a really good card. It's damage piercing, really nice. Interfere to blow up field spell if you go up against a mirror match, and it's a good defense three fouls, and really good. Scrap Archine, 27 beatdown. Uh, same with Gaia Knight. Black Rose Dragon, good card, nukes the field. Um, in case I get get use mind control to take a Lila or something like that, I can sink into this. Land Dragon, in case I go get Samurai, have mind control and Earth Tuner or Revive, something like that, I can go into this. I gotta replace it though. Once I get like Steel Swarm and stuff like that, I'll replace them. RDA, destroys defense monsters, Stardust, protects my cards from destruction effects. Scrap Dragon, a really good synchro, destroy it, pop a card, or pop an opponent's card. Trishula, removes a card from your opponent's field, grave, and one at random from their hands. And XC monster, win, wind up Zim Master, detach one XYZ material monster from this card, target one face up monster you control, change it to face down defense position, and during the end phase turn, change it to face up attack position. This might be good to get with Morphin Jar and everything. It's pretty messed up. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, feel free to give me any tips and opinions on how I should run it. So yeah, more videos coming soon. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. L later, guys.